Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that 3x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4 all divided by x squared minus 4 is identical to ax squared plus bx plus c plus this fraction here dx plus c all divided by x squared minus 4 where x is not equal to plus or minus 2. And we've got to find the values of the constants a, b, c, d and e for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward, but I'll take it slowly through the uh, solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, what we've got to do is essentially divide x squared minus 4 into the top polynomial here. And when I'm doing this division, we're doing it by algebraic long division, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with this. If not, do check out the video tutorials on my website. But we've got x squared here, and then we haven't got an x term, so I'm going to write plus naught x here. It helps to keep the place value. You can leave this out, you don't have to put it in, but uh, I think it helps. And then minus 4. And then we divide it into the polynomial that we're given. And we'd always check as we go down in descending powers here if any terms are missing. And if they are, we fill it with a 0. So we've got 3x to the power 4. Then we've got minus 2x cubed. Then minus 5x squared. But it's the next term, the x term in this example, that's missing. So we fill this with 0x. And then we've got the constant on the end, minus 4. So that's set up now. So what we do next is we just say, what do you multiply x squared by to get 3x to the power 4? And it's 3x squared. So you put 3x squared up here. Some people put it over this first term. Some people put it down here. It does vary from one textbook to another. So it doesn't really matter. Um, just it's up to you. Then we multiply 3x squared with each of these three terms. So 3x squared times the x squared gives us 3x to the power 4. And then 3x squared times 0x is going to be 0x. We'll put 0x cubed, all right? Keep it underneath that term. And then 3x squared times minus 4 gives us minus 12x squared. And then we subtract to work out what the remainder is. So 3x to the 4 minus 3x to the 4 was 0. Minus 2x cubed minus no x cubed is going to be just simply minus 2x cubed. And here we've got minus 5x squared minus minus 12x squared, which is going to be plus 7x squared. And then we bring down the next term. And in this example, it just happens to be 0x. OK, so we just put 0x there. And we start all over again. What do we multiply x squared by to give minus 2x cubed? Well, it's got to be minus 2x. So we put that up there, minus 2x. And we do minus 2x times each of these three terms. Minus 2x times x squared is minus 2x cubed. Minus 2x times 0x, well that's just going to be 0. I'll just write here 0x squared. And then minus 2x times minus 4 is plus 8x. Again, subtract then to work out what the remainder is. And we find that we get 0 in this column. Now we get 7x squared minus 0x squared. So that's just going to be 7x squared. And here's 0x minus 8x is going to be minus 8x. And lastly, we bring down our next term, which is the minus 4. Put it there. And one more time, what do we multiply x squared by to give 7x squared? Well, it's 7, so we got plus 7 then. 7 times each of these three terms gives us 7x squared, no x, 
and then 7 times minus 4 is minus 28. And we subtract to get the remainder and we find that we've got 0 here, minus 8x minus no x is just going to be minus 8x and then minus 4 minus minus 28 is plus 24. And so that's the end of our division. Now it's just a question of rewriting our fraction again and using this result. Let's just copy down our fraction. That's 3x to the power 4 minus 2 x cubed minus 5 x squared minus 4 and all of this is divided then by x squared minus 4 and it's identical too. Well, I'll show you at the end if you're not sure about this how I remember how it goes but uh, essentially we take this division it's the same as the quotient here which is 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 and then to this we add the remainder which is this part okay and we divide this by the divisor which for this question was x squared minus 4. I'm going to leave out the 0x obviously but it's just x squared minus 4. And so this is identical then to the form that we had to show ax squared that is plus bx plus c plus then dx plus e all over x squared minus 4. Where? Okay we've got a equals the 3, b equals minus 2, c equals 7, d equals minus 8 and finally e equals 24. Okay now if you did have problem just seeing this kind of idea here I said there's a way that I tend to remember it we use this as a kind of reminder Suppose you had, say, 16 thirds, 16 divided by 3. 16 thirds we would normally write down as 5 and a third. You can think of this, though, as 5 plus 1 third. Now, if I was setting this out by long division, for instance, I'd say 3 into 16. 3 into 16 goes 5 times, 5 threes are 15 and I would take away to find out what my remainder was and it's 1. So you, hopefully you can compare this result here to this result here. So 16 divided by 3, that's the equivalent of this fraction if you like, is equal to the 5 which we got on the top here, the quotient which I've now copied down, okay, up here. And then it is plus the remainder, which was 1, which compares to this, minus 8x plus 24. And then it is divided by the divisor, which was 3. In our example, it was x squared minus 4. OK, so put that over x squared minus 4. So I hope it's given you an idea anyway on how to do that question if you had any problems.